guys want to see my video? The only example. Your only example. That's all you ever fucking talk about. Because it's the only thing that he fucking knows. He's just on the internet to shit all over feminists because he's mad about what happened to him personally and can't do anything about it because of the way the system works. So he's just taking his anger out on anybody that he encounters. Our fucking sympathies, bro. For real, like, you got handed a shit deal, but... <sighs> oh my god, this fucking guy, that's all he fucking talks about. If that's, that's fine, but he, he, he like, for example, the, that's your only fucking example! Oh, man, I wish I could go back in time. I take state. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like, anyone can even know that. You know what, Napoleon? You can leave. You guys are retarded. How the fuck do you know what he believes? You have mind-reading powers? Can you read his fucking mind? You're the same kind of people that are like, Oh yeah, the jihadist said he blew himself up for Allah, but I know it's about socioeconomics. Hey, check that out. Alright, Kip and Uncle Rico. I've been ignoring you for long enough. Welcome to my channel. Further, as Bane by now knows, we are in line with the rights of men. We want help for male victims. We want men to be free of harmful machismo gender roles. Well, you must be in therapy then, fucknuts, because you are the very character of male machismo. You are the stereotypical dipshit male and dumb as a fucking post. You wear a polyester jumpsuit and driving gloves, nut job. How in the fuck you ever came to the conclusion that anyone would ever take you seriously is fucking beyond me, Rico. You and Kip, you are children. You have the minds of children. We are not anti-MRAs any more than we are anti-feminists, and criticizing either camp at any given time does not make us such. And we certainly criticize feminism a lot more because we are more versed in that. Policing our own, so to speak. Well, not only are you a fucking liar, you're a fucking hypocrite. Because for some reason, it's okay for you to criticize MRAs, and it's okay for you to criticize feminists, but it's not okay for people like, oh, Felfop to criticize feminist doctrine. But it's okay for you guys. Isn't that right, Kip? Isn't that right, Rico? Mm, let me think. Exactly how did you treat Felfop again? Um, yeah. So, um, let's, let's, let's recap here real quickly. What we have here is people that, when I engage them the first time and I point out they don't know what they're talking about with shared parenting, they block me. Um, I point out that they did so while calling themselves skeptics. They unblock me until I engaged in rape apology, um, which they use the RADFEM definition of it, which we have now, that's confirmed. And that gets me blocked again. And now we have them saying that the only thing that I could concern myself with is the plight of the single father and shitting all over feminism and just people in general because of what I went through. And We actually care that men get the help they need. No, you don't. You don't give a shit. You fucking know you don't give a shit. All you're doing is fucking lying through your goddamn commie teeth. You, Uncle Rico, you're a fucking liar. 
a fucking liar. L-I-A-R, you commie fucking cunt. Let us start off by saying that we too greatly respect Aaron Pizzi's work and we have never disparaged her in any way. Ever. We are currently working on a video to direct male victims of domestic violence to assist in their areas. If any male victims are listening to that, how likely are they to reach out to any feminist organizations for help that they might need today? Bain is poisoning the well and making it more difficult for men to get help. Your propaganda is the oldest fucking propaganda in the fucking book, dude. You could at least try something that is fucking believable. Well, in case you think I've been beating around the bush here, let me just kind of lay it on the line for you. Look, the skeptic feminists are lying sacks of shit. They are hypocritical sacks of shit. Being in Felfob... I will have links to their videos in the low bar. They fucking nailed these dirty lion sons of bitches to the wall. But both of them are being a little too civil to these cunts, if you ask me. Uh, So I ain't bringing you no news here. I ain't trying to make an argument. I'm not here to facilitate peace talks. I'm here to scorch the fucking earth. I am here to carpet bomb these knuckle draggers back to the Stone Age where they belong. The skeptic feminists are nothing but commies and propaganda spreaders. That's it. Feminism, communism, it's an ideology of children and lunatics. And Kip and Rico here, they are both children and they are both lunatics. Further, as Bain by now knows, we are in line with the rights of men. We want help for male victims. We want men to be free of harmful machismo gender roles. No, you cunts aren't. What you are are feminist ideologues. Your very statement is an attack against masculinity. Machismo may be stupid, but it has certain benefits for society, like getting shit done, like not being a whiny fucking cunt. How the fuck do you think dams get built, huh? How do you think bridges get built? How do you think sewers get built, you dumb cunt? It's by pulling on your fucking boots and showing up to work and breaking your fucking back. And what do we hear from you dumb shits all the time? Toxic masculinity. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword, you dumb fucker but it's the thing that gave you a spandex fucking superhero costume to wear and rant on the fucking internet about how fucking evil men are all the fucking time. That's what your movement is all about, Dick For You support a movement that ramrods men up the ass day in and day out, you dirty fucking cunts. I don't give a shit what the fuck you think your goddamn ideology is. I don't give a shit what the fuck you think your beliefs are. As long as you fucking fly that feminist flag, that communist flag, you are a fucking goddamn enemy of mine. And you are an enemy of mankind. You have absolutely nothing to offer. We don't need your fucking goddamn shelters. We can fucking take care of our own. We can love each other. We can hold each other up. We don't need your goddamn fucking poison. You can just fuck right off. You know who built these shelters? Men. Men run the plumbing to them. You know who pays the taxes to fucking run these shelters? Mostly men. So you can just fuck right off, you dumb cunts. Feminists who demonize men or portray all women as weak and all men as violent are doing a very bad job of being feminists, and certainly not a good job of being humanists, which is an 
ethical position that should in every instance inform feminist activism on the ground. It can't, you idiot. Feminism is gynocentric. That's it. They can't fucking get their heads out of their vaginas. It's all about feelings. It's all about listen and believe. It's not about facts and truth. Feminism is about the advocacy of women, no matter what, no matter the price. And that is not good for women. It turns them into monsters. And it's not good for men. And it's not good for families. Men and women have been compassionate to each other since the beginning of time. Feminism isn't fixing shit. We've been getting more and more civilized over time with each other. The great arc of history shows this. As communication and science and prosperity came along, we just kept getting better and better and better. That's what the Aaron Pizzi story is all about. She was there for everybody. And like Elam and Pizzi both say, feminism come in there and kicked everybody out of fixing the domestic violence problems and fucked it up, like Bain says, for 40 fucking years. 40 years of progress lost because of your dumb fucking ideology. All we needed was support for victims of domestic violence, male or female. The only thing that feminism did was take advantage of the good intentions of people that wanted to help out and turned it into a man-bashing campaign. That's all they did. They haven't did shit for society. They've only caused problems. It's the modern times that has brought about all the positive change. It's about having wealth. It's about having, it's about having peace. It's about being enlightened. Feminism, feminism is a religion. It's a dark age ideology. It hasn't helped. Dawn works very hard and has put her heart and spirit into the work she does and has done over the years. During her time doing this work, she has talked to men who have been abused. Some she has talked successfully out of suicide. She had men sobbing on the phone, threatening to blow their heads off. She has had women on the phone getting assaulted as she tried to figure out how to get them help. She had been chased off the road by angry ex-partners of women she attended courts with. She has been in a literal wrestling match with a gang who were trying to pull a woman out of the shelter while she was trying to get her safely inside without jeopardizing any of the women and children already there. She has thrown a burning chair out of the kitchen emergency door because a little boy had found a lighter in his mom's purse and wanted to burn the shelter down so he could go home. She has held a mentally ill woman who saw bugs on the wall and tried to cut her wrist with a plastic knife because she wanted to die rather than see her visions and deal with the abuse she had faced for an entire lifetime. Because what happens to the mentally ill in our society is fucking despicable. She has calmed down a distraught seven-year-old girl who didn't know that Santa was and curled up in a corner of the kitchen with a knife because she had heard that a man coming in the night and was so terrified of men coming in the night to rape her that she was terrified of Santa. What a fucking joke. And this is why I call you a liar. You guys call yourself the skeptic feminist. Well, first of all, you're plural. You're not one. So you fucking lie there. You say you're a skeptic, but here you fucking believe all this bullshit carte blanche with no reservations, nothing. You just fucking believe it because it was said. And you fucking claim to have come from the fucking military. Well, I don't know what fucking military you served in, but every fucking Joe I ever knew knew how to tell a bullshit story. And every fucking Joe I know never believed the other Joe's bullshit stories. I I don't know where the fuck you think you became a skeptic. You're one of these fucking morons that browse through fucking dictionaries and philosophy books and fucking can understand the nuances of fucking jargon. And you think that that somehow makes you smart. You think it somehow makes you clever. You somehow think that gives you a keen mind. No, you fucking punk. You don't have one. Any fucking 
investigator, any law enforcement person at all, would not get on there and fucking act like you. Oh, I'm a skeptic, but I'm going to get all choked up and emotional as if these things are all true. Well, maybe they are true, but you fucking don't know. You don't know, but you act like you know, and yet you pretend like you're a skeptic. So come back at me. Do a response video. I invite you. Give me all of your goddamn sophisticated fucking words, all your goddamn sophistry. Line it all up. Give me, I don't know, a swimming pool full of your bullshit verbiage. What you've done here, Rico, what you've done here, Kip, Mr. and Ms. Logic Splainers, Mr. and Ms. People that commit logical fallacies are stupid, and people that commit the fallacy of relative privation, you guys are fucking stupid. Seriously, you assholes get on YouTube and pretend like you're are these fucking logic giants and commit the most known logical fallacy. You're fucking absolute fucking morons. Absolute morons. If Don lied about inviting men's rights activists to come into the shelter, she lied about it. All of this other shit you're talking about, all of this other shit that you're trying to do to weasel out of that fucking conclusion is irrational. We are not historians. We are not uh, making documentaries. These are human pieces with real emotion. If you don't want the human element, you shouldn't be watching a video. You should be reading a history book or a wiki article. The stories go on and on. For five hours we did that chat, and a good time before we went on air and then after. That line of bullshit coming out of somebody that tags themselves a skeptic? Come on, your fucking propaganda is fucking weak, dude. You are weak. Your words are weak. Some may argue that Pizzy's opinions and stats are outdated. She has been out of the loop for a bit. Either way, those second waivers who gave her shit were bastards. Feminism owes her a great debt. She should be hailed as a fucking heroine by every feminist. It is a disgrace that any feminists, radical or not, slander her in such a bullshit way. When you say things like this, what people should hear is you saying, Hey, little girl, I have some candy. Because you don't mean your shit. If you really cared about men, if you really cared about how they're treated, and you really cared about equality, your content would not be 97% of the time jammed up somebody's fucking twat. You and Kip and the clown, you're fucking propagandists. You're full of bullshit. You're trying to draw people in with your pretend rationality. You're trying to draw people in with your pretend logic. And you're trying to draw people in with your pretend sympathy. Though obviously the assertion that feminists killed her dog is still both incorrect. The dog was wounded. Shooting her dog. And speculative. There is zero evidence that it was feminists. It sounded to us like it might have been, since we're speculating, a uh, spouse of one of the women or men that she was helping, as that is a common trend, harming animals among abusers. But even Miss Pizzy agrees that it wasn't feminists. So, here you go. I think the, sh the dog shooting incident I don't think was feminists. I think it was because I was, along with all the other things that what people were coming to me, uh, it was it was a lot to do with um, pedophiles and pedophile rings in Santa Fe because at that point there were only two DAs and Santa Fe was a real wild west town. I'm I'm not exactly sure why you would play this clip and and make these claims here, Russian Deadpool, because um, these <laughs> these are the claims I made in my video. Uh, you you don't have to prove what I've already shown. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. You even used the clip from my video. I can tell because of the 50 up in the corner. So I'm, I'm not 
exactly sure why you're putting it here. But anyway, let, let's continue. Because, Bane, he's a fraud. Because he's a propagandist. And one more thing about this line of bullshit that he's spouting. What he's got a problem with here, with what fucking Paul's talking about, is called hearsay in the legal world. So file that fucking one away. He's saying, oh, you believe somebody if they tell you a bullshit story that they say that they have direct knowledge of. But if you go back through all of the fucking stories that Dawn talked about and half of those stories that she relates would have to be based on hearsay shit that went down. Hmm? Isn't that so? So you believe somebody else's hearsay when they're on your side. When it's coming from Dawn, you're supposed to believe her hearsay bullshit. But when it comes from the MRA side, that's when all of a sudden you become a skeptic again. That's not a fucking skeptic. That's a propagandist. And so these three fuckers will throw out any fucking thing that they can. Anything that they think they can get away with. They will use. Because it's propaganda for them. And we hold no enmity for purely MRA stances. Which is one of the things we helped enlighten Dawn on during our chat. Disregarding her opinions on the matter of men's rights when her assertions are without evidence is certainly a reasonable position to take, which is why we stayed intellectually consistent by constantly challenging her assertions throughout the chat. And we're supposed to believe that? You don't even challenge her assertions here after you've had time to think about it, after Bain has pointed out the inconsistencies in some of her story. You're neither intellectual or consistent. You're just a fucking mouthpiece. You're just an intellectual fraud pushing an agenda. That's it. Uh, so is that why you then edited out 10 minutes of footage and uploaded it as a separate video and called it MRAs versus domestic abuse shelters? I mean, is that remaining neutral <laughs> when, when you're dealing with claims which aren't proven? Uh, I don't think so, Russian Deadpool. I, I think that's where your argument falls apart. As to why we were not harder on her, she had just gotten done telling horrific shelter abuse stories. We were not in a combative mood. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. You don't have to always have your fucking skeptic fucking mindset going. But motherfucker, you sure had plenty of opportunity plenty of opportunity to put your fucking skeptic hat back on and think about what the fuck you were doing before you edited down the 11 minutes that you posted up on the fucking internet denigrating an MRA group that you never fucking contacted or got the other side of the story from. You know, I talked about the legal standard of hearsay before, but the fucking journalistic standard also kind of applies here. You also fucking blew through that one, dumb fuck. You know, you're supposed to fucking, if you get an anonymous source and she's acting anonymously, you need to do something to try to confirm that up. And you should give the other side a chance to come forward and give their side of the story if you're a fucking skeptic. Hey, I don't begrudge you. If you guys want to be fucking activists and get up here and fucking spout your bullshit, fucking fine. What I really, what really, really pisses me off is you fuckers that get on here and act like you're fucking morally superior, intellectually superior, fucking ethically superior to other people, and yet you follow no morals, no ethics, nothing that resembles anything that fucking anybody can fucking identify with other than you want to fucking win your point. If you just want to get on your channel and say, my, the, my, the, my, 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 my vagina is good, and you want to say, my, 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 my penis is bad, I, you know, fucking go right ahead and make a fool out of yourself that way. I, I don't really give a shit. But when you try to act fucking smart and you're this fucking stupid about shit, god damn that pisses me off. Further, Don spoke as someone on the ground from personal experience and trauma. Paul Elam, on the other hand, spoke for Aaron Pizzi. No fuckweed, Don did not speak just for Don. 
She spoke for a bunch of fucking supposed victims. And she spoke on behalf of a bunch of supposed perpetrators. And there's a lot of that going on in her fucking statements to you guys. Work your ass back through that shit, you supposed skeptic. Erin Pitsy was the one who started it all, and she was not a feminist from the very beginning. It wasn't feminism that started this movement. It was feminism that saw a cash cow in the domestic violence industry and muscled her out, harassing her, stalking her, threatening her with bomb threats, shooting her dog. All this is documented. Dog shooting is that I don't think was feminist. He spoke in place of Pizzy, where Miss Pizzy there we would have been just as tactful with her as we were with Don. By the strict definition of men's rights advocacy, we are MRAs, in the same sense that we are feminists. No, you don't treat everybody that fucking comes to you with direct knowledge of an event with fucking respect. Fuck me, go over your videos, you dumbasses. And you're not an MRA. Your fucking head is locked up a fucking vagina, dude. Anyway. We appreciate Bain's insistence on specifying which feminists he has a problem with, at least in the beginning. That's really intellectually honest of him. Unfortunately, blatantly asserting Don is a liar is not. You know, it's a little ironic that you're lying about what fucking Bain said. He didn't fucking out and out call her a liar. Basically, he said, there's some options here. And one of them is, she's a liar, and I see that as the most likely. But congratulations, lying about somebody that didn't fucking say something. Awesome, fucking moron. We didn't expect anyone to accept everything she says at face value. We do not believe everything we hear about Pizzi from Elam, for example. I think that's perfectly fair. But we sure as fuck are not going to call Pizzi a liar nor Paul for that matter. He was merely proven wrong on multiple counts. Calling Don a liar would be a cowardly fucking thing to do. Oh, isn't that cute? You nearly fucking cried your li little wussy fucking goddamn heart out over the fucking allegations that fucking Don made, the story that she fucking told you. Now, why the fuck would you get so emotional... If you didn't accept her story, hook, line, and sinker, you're so fucking full of bullshit. Either you did accept her story, hook, line, and sinker, or you're fucking putting on a show. Either way, you're a piece of shit. And to come out here and act all holier than Bane because he fucking pointed out the inconsistency in her story is fucking ludicrous, you fucking goddamn pig fucking idiot. No doubt, Dawn simply does not care to spend her invaluable time arguing with a guy in the Kool-Aid picture calling her a liar on YouTube. Well, you tell me what's more anonymous there, numbnuts. Bane that's been on YouTube over and over and over again, telling people who he's known, who he's talked to, specific names, or Don, who doesn't give her real name and doesn't tell us anybody that she knows about. Yeah, but somehow it's okay when somebody's anonymous on your side of the fucking camp, but when somebody's an anonymous MRA, well, fuck that, we'll take a shot at him. What a fucking goddamn hypocrite you are, you piece of shit. We've chatted with Bane in good faith before and had thought we had come to a reasonable understanding, but his video seems to prove we've wasted our time. No, you haven't wasted your time. You've exposed yourself as fucking goddamn hypocritical bullshit artists. There is nothing that Bane did that he did in bad faith. You chumps over there took a cheap shot at MRAs, and he responded, pointing out that Don's story was not credible. You're the ones that put up the bullshit story that wasn't fact-checked. You're the ones that gave her the platform. And once more, you isolated out the worst of her allegations to try to paint MRAs as doing something that you have absolutely no confirmation of. None. None. And you call yourself an MRA? 
and you say you're acting in good faith? Fuck off, you lying cunt. Bane very deliberately took things out of context, twisted words, and then had the nerve to call Dawn the liar. Uh, some examples of which would be nice. Now, we, ha we have two options here. Either you're claiming that I do this for the entire two hours of the video, in which case you should have numerous examples that you can show where I'm taking things out of context. Alternatively, you're suggesting I only did this once or twice, uh, which would mean that the bulk of my video would still be legitimate. Uh, but even if you are suggesting I only did this a couple of times, uh, by all means, please show us. Give us examples. I made it very, very easy for you or anyone else. I even put time codes where the clips were from. You can easily go to the uh, those times in the five hour video and find the clip in proper context. I, I made it as simple as possible for you, Russian Deadpool. By all means, please give us examples. Hell, even Paul Elam gave her the benefit of the doubt and said she probably had good intentions. Good for you, Paul. Evidently, that's what constitutes a logical and skeptical argument. Fuck me, the holier-than-thou ploy. You are a fraud. You are a fraud. You are a fraud. When she agreed to come on our channel, Dawn that is, she had no interest in anything to do with the ridiculous anti-feminist rhetoric, except that she had hoped that if she sincerely explained the history of the movement and how things had changed, and put a voice to the work, that some of these men might understand that all they had to do is work with us to get what they want done. No, that's not how feminism works. You, you in particular may not be a man-hater, but there's no point in trying to work it out with a bunch of irrational, lying man-haters. We're not friends, fucker. We're not. You don't have solutions. You don't have anything to offer. We just need to get that 18% feminism approval rate down to 10%. And we'll be able to kick you guys the fuck out of the areas that you need to be the fuck kicked out of. Bye-bye, motherfucker. And to our great joy, we get messages every week from people who stopped identifying as anti-feminists, specifically because of our channel. Said the propagandist, surrounded by propagandists, and supported by other propagandists. And it is a sincere honor to provide a platform for people like Dawn and Amal. Well, that doesn't sound very skeptical or appropriate of you to do if you're not going to do any fact-checking or confirming that the things that these people say are true. What I have a problem with is you acting all intellectual. You acting like you care about men's rights as much as you do about female rights when you clearly fucking don't. So just focus on your advocacy, quit acting like you're some kind of skeptical, intellectual, getting to the bottom of issues that you're not getting to the bottom of, and I'll take my fucking dick out of your ear. Dawn put herself at no small risk to share the stories she did. She has her own abusive ex who would love nothing more than to finish the execution he had planned for her. He held her for three days and nights and assaulted her verbally and mentally and sexually and physically. And she vowed, when she got out alive, that she would dedicate every day of the rest of her life trying to make sure no one else ever had to go through what happened to her. Said the anonymous person that we just listen and believe, even though some of their statements have proven to be not credible. Absolutely crystal, precise, diamond edge skepticism there. You fucking goddamn imbecile. But she's full of shit. Really, Bane? Uh, yeah, when, when it comes to her claims about the men's rights movement. We understand your anger at her ignorance uh, of the MRM, the men's rights movement. Ignorance she openly admits to and attempts to have cured during the course of her discourse with us. She has... Nothing but the deepest respect and empathy for any human that is experiencing abuse in their lives, and she would do anything she could to help others. 
And when somebody's ignorant about a topic, you tend not to fucking trust them as a credible witness regarding that topic. Fuck chops. Fucking skeptic my ass. What have you, Bane, ever done to actually improve human relations and work toward ending violence? Do you work in the shelter? We don't know. All we see is that your mission seems to be to pick fights with feminists and then show your intellectual superiority by picking apart our words and twisting our meanings to reveal some hidden conspiracy agenda of lying about shelter work. Well, isn't one of that the greatest logical arguments I've ever seen? It's not like it's a red herring or anything. It's not like it's an ad hominem or anything like that. It's not like it's an appeal to emotion or anything like that. It's not like it's a holier-than-thou argument or anything like that. No, it's just pure logic and skepticism coming out of your fucking trap. He very deliberately went looking for things to do a gotcha response to in our talk, and that is both immature and, quite frankly, reckless. He went out of his way? All he did was subscribe to your channel and respond to your fucking bullshit. Payne's responses serve as an aggressive stance against feminists who are trying really fucking hard to do the right things. If there are any men listening to him that need help, what benefit are they getting from listening to that? None. So says the man with his head rammed up a vagina. By listening to his channel, I found out and lots of other people found out that you fucking cunts are not skeptics, that you fucking cunts are irrational, and to stay away from your toxic propaganda. I think that's just lovely and absolutely helpful. A man that goes to your channel and gets lost in all of its vagina nonsense is wasting their fucking time. In fact, he made it seem that not only did Dawn lie, but she must have ulterior motive to slight men's rights activists in the process of her conversation with us. Look, you knucklehead. Somebody that's only fucking gotten their information the way that Dawn got her information is not a credible source of information on that topic. The topic that you fucking happened to highlight and took in hook, line, and sinker. You're a fucking moron. Yeah, I, I think that was uh, pretty evident there, Russian Deadpool. We're, we're talking about a person who admits to getting all their information about the uh, the men's rights movement from anti-MRA videos on YouTube. Hopefully, hopefully you have enough common sense to realize that that may not be the best strategy to, to get information about a, a rights movement, or, or any group for that matter. I think it's pretty clear that Dawn has a very distorted view about the men's rights movement. And I, I do think it's pretty clear that she also has somewhat of an agenda against us based on this distorted view of us. Contrary to his claims, shelters do ask for community members, including the local MRA group, and they do call themselves MRAs, not anti-feminists. Goddamn right, Bane. Citation needed, you toe-jam licking sons of bitches. She also never claimed that the MRA in her area were trying to shut the shelter down. She said they worked in opposition to the work Dawn was trying to do. At that time, it was in terms of legislation and community support. Oh, okay. Uh, let's have a listen to what Dawn actually said then, shall we? It's, you know, when you listen to them, even even the, the five hours you people sat through, I don't know how, <laughs> but <laughs> oh. getting cut off. And all they want to do is just toss the insult. They, they said they developed specifically in opposition to shelters and the work that we do and trying to, 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 to end it. <laughs> well, I guess you're just not a reliable source, Deadpool. Go figure. And if you believe that line of bullshit without confirmation, why in the fuck would men's rights activists 
be opposed to women having domestic violence shelters. They may have a problem with it being ran with a bunch of fucking Duluth model ideologues or something along that nature. An MRA might oppose the listen and believe no matter what without a fucking scrap of evidence model that deprives them of access to their fucking children. And they may disapprove of a shelter that will not be reasonable, that will not be fair. But for you to let her get off the hook like that, as if men's rights activists by and large, would have any fucking reason to shut down a legitimate domestic violence center and you not even fucking remember that? You're a fucking joke. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Violent men, men that beat on women, men that fucking kick the teeth out of children and try to fucking stab them, those really aren't the type of men that are good at cooperating with each other and forming men's rights groups. Those men are beasts, and they're not likely, not likely at all to be MRA members. They're fucking sociopaths. And that thought hasn't popped up for you in the middle of all of this controversy. You haven't fucking figured that out. These kind of beasts, these kind of thugs really aren't fucking your cooperative, sit around and whine about shit to each other type of fucking men. Jesus fucking Christ. Your skeptical powers are intermittent at best. You said this. Now, I'm I'm guessing you left this comment after you watched the part at the start with Aaron Pitsy and Paul Elam I'm guessing you left this comment before you got into the dawn section of the video because you don't take your own advice during that dawn interview let me read it again indict specific people or people associated with an organization without proof of their involvement fuck no that's what dawn did your entire fucking video do you not see why we're pissed off? <laughs> Bain also balked at Don's explanation of the violence by perpetrators of domestic violence and the stats that Aaron Pizzi and Warren Farrell had talked about this 40 years ago and how stupid feminists must be to not know about this until now. 40 fucking years ago! <laughs> this, this, uh... This was also really inflammatory, since she never claimed it was new information or where she learned it. Uh, Dawn herself admits that there has been a bias in the past, and now feminists are slowly just starting to catch up. Uh, at the same time, she makes the claim that we're somehow regressive. We're the regressive ones, even though they're now adopting our position 40 years later. That was my point, Russian Deadpool. I, Russian Deadpool, simply asked her if she thought perpetrators of violence knew it was wrong. And her answer was very compassionate toward the abusers who break limbs, leave finger marks on children, scream in the faces of their families, and make life really volatile for the people around them. Well, just listen and believe, I guess. I mean, you obviously can read her mind and know that she really feels that way. Just listen and believe that she has compassion for these kind of beasts. Yay, skepticism, proof, empiricism, all wonderful things. Just fucking wonderful things to base your channel on. It seems some of these people think that shelters are filled with hairy women wearing Birkenstocks, singing Power to the Sister songs and holding hands while plotting how to get back at the evil men's. The truth is, these places are refuges for people in times of severe stress and chaos. The work is hard, and these abusers are not good people. They make it unsafe for the entire community, not just their families. People who work in shelters often experience stalking and abuse from the abusers as well, but still do their best to help others. Yeah, and if you're a skeptic or an investigator or anybody with half a fucking brain, 
And you have a witness saying that men's rights activist types are stalking, threatening you, uh, committing violence in your presence, uh, children scared out of their fucking minds, MRA types. Anybody with half a fucking brain, anybody that's a quarter of a fucking skeptic would say to themselves, this person may be very biased and may be a very poor source of information. I probably need to take everything that this person tells me with a grain of salt. I don't need to be rude, but I don't have to pretend that I'm a skeptic. Isolate the part of the conversation where she specifically goes after an organized MRA as the gospel and put it forth as if her claims are true on your channel. Because a skeptic would wonder if such a person going through such events would be able to relate events in a factual, non-emotional, non-hyperbole manner and attribute things to people that should not have them attributed to. That would be a normal skeptical response to such a witness. Not that she's lying, but to be skeptical of the claim and not to highlight and propagate the claim without any skeptical commentary. That is, if you were a skeptic, which you're fucking not. You're a fucking shill. We found it fucking outrageous that Bane was berating Dawn and calling her a bullshitter without a moment of regard for what she does. Bullshit, you fucking liar. Bane, on several occasions, was very careful to be charitable to her in the work that she did at the shelter. His issue, and you fucking know it, was her non-credible story about the MRA that we have no way to double-check that you fucking highlighted on your channel. That's the fucking issue. Your straw man here isn't just a straw man. It's a fucking lie. You're lying through your fucking fat fucking goddamn fucking face. Liar. L-I-A-R. You fucking liar. As he said, he had three options, and instead of even trying to understand what she does and what she meant, his entire purpose in making that video was to paint her as the problem. <laughs> we got caught being fucking stupid cunts, and we're trying to blame Bane for us being stupid fucking cunts. <laughs> His only motive is to attack feminists, and we no longer have the patience or energy for volleying reasonable, intelligent discussions at him while he looks for ways to make it appear as though we have some evil intent. You, you know, it's... <laughs> that's, that's really funny, because I was responding to allegations against the men's rights movement. Do you, do you get that? Russian did pull. It is utterly ridiculous, and we want nothing to do with anyone who is intent on making a mockery of the work people like Don do, because the people she serves deserve a hell of a lot better. If any MRAs or anti-feminists truly wanted to help, they would not be making antagonizing videos on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Bane was only going after Don. He wasn't pointing out that you guys, that you guys fucked up. You just want to paint this as the evil skull in the Kool-Aid fucking picture. Going after an honorable, top-of-the-line, domestic violence shelter worker. But that's only half the story, motherfucker. Where is your agency? Where is your responsibility? as the self-proclaimed men's rights activists that you claim to be. Nowhere did she contradict that truth, that women are also violent to men, and to women, and to children. Nowhere. No one is denying that, Bane. You know, I don't recall saying that she did. Um, yeah, it'd be helpful if you actually showed the clip of me saying that. In that five-hour discussion, Don did complain about the MRAs quite a bit. No shit.
Really? And we insisted that the MRM are not the problem, rather anti-feminists are. Her fixation on this was born of frustration. And as the self-proclaimed men's rights activist that you are, her fixation didn't ring any bells, didn't make you question her credibility as a witness. The fact that she's only coming forth anonymously didn't give you enough concern to, oh, I don't know, not highlight that portion of your conversation with her, editing out 10 or 11 minutes where she specifically really dogs the MRAs, and for you to title that clip as you did, her fixation didn't trigger your fucking skepticism processes. That's what you're telling us. That's your story. You MRA, you. Of course, as Baines was in his over-harsh reply to our chat with her, she let it be known that she had limitations of how much she could speak publicly about her DV work, but could speak freely about the manosphere. And we did our best to educate her. Anyway, if those men were unable to hear the compassion and dedication she has to helping people as a humanist, then we have to accept that their motives are not humanist in any way, shape, or form and reevaluate any further time dedicated to trying to make them see we are not the enemy. Well, if you're not the enemy, um, don't act like one. Please stay tuned for our very detailed upcoming video on help for abused men. Thank you. No, man, it's not going to happen. You're just a propagandist. You're trying to make it seem like you care about men's rights, but you don't. You wouldn't have done what you did if you were a skeptic and an MRA. You're not a skeptic. You're not an MRA. You're a feminist shill. And feminism is not for men, it's not for masculinity, and it's not for families. So you can just fuck right off. Fuck off. The only example, your only example, that's all you ever fucking talk about. Because it's the only thing that he fucking knows. He's just on the internet to shit all over feminists because he's mad about what happened to him personally and can't do anything about it because of the way the system works. So he's just taking his anger out on anybody that he encounters. Now, our fucking sympathies, bro. For real, like, you got handed a shit deal, but... <sighs> ah. Oh my god, this fucking guy, that's all he fucking talks about. And, and that's fine. You know, if that's, that's fine. But he, 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 like, for example, that's your only fucking example. Something new once in a while flops. Once in a fucking while. <laughs> well, look at that. Isn't that interesting? I get banned because I'm a rape apologist for talking about my opinions on rape. Or rape prevention, I guess you should say. But apparently all I ever talk about is father, custody, son, mine, mess, situation, life. That's it. That's all I ever talk about. Everything else that I ever discuss, oh, I just get banned for that. <laughs> we'll just ban him when he brings that up, and then we can just say that he only talks about this stuff over and over and over again. How would you do that? The fact that you're saying that someone can be taught not to be selected for rape is, a po is why we said... You were being a rape apologist. So right now, any conversations we have with you have this tension, this anger between us. So, you know, it's not constructive anymore. Fuck off. No, I'm sorry. That would be you reading my mind. And I know that you wouldn't even presume to read my mind, right? Right, Russian Deadpool from 30 Seconds in the Future? How the fuck do you know what he believes? You have mind-reading powers? Can you read his fucking mind? You're the same kind of people that are like, oh yeah, the jihadist said he blew himself up for Allah, but I know it's about socioeconomics. On top of all of that, 
what we have is these people engaging in this beautiful bit of, of intellectual trickery. They are claiming that they care. We really are concerned with the issues. We really, really care about the issues. But when you go to any of the issues, it seems they don't know what they're talking about. They are uneducated. They are ignorant. They have the typical scratch the surface feminist level of education. They just are. D <laughs> you guys are fucking jokes. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Educate yourself before opening your mouth, skeptic. If male victims are watching Bane, they are getting information that may prevent them from getting the help they need. Bane makes it seem as though feminists just want to stick it to the man. The reason Dawn laid out the stories from the work she does is to demonstrate that her time doing that comes at risk to her personally and professionally. Dawn has put herself in danger for others willingly in her job because she has been in their shoes. Bane and her comrades are fighting us every step of the way out to mock feminists and attack our motives while sitting comfortably behind the computer and contributing ugliness to a world that has more of that enough already. Dawn considers herself a humanist first and foremost. As a humanist, she wants to make the world safer for everyone. She has a great passion for the children who are the silent victims in this fight. And we are sick to death of hearing anti-feminist bullshit, while feminists are doing our very best to deal with the mountain of abuse out there. MRAs, like the kind Bain mentioned with CAFE, are doing important work, and that does not include shitting on fellow human rights groups. We support the rights of men. Period. And as such, we do not feel like there is any point in speaking further with anti-feminists disguised as MRAs.